Hey everyone, this is Carrie from The Road to We Roam. Russ and I would like to give you a tour of our little guy Max. Along these roads we roam, we find adventure through traveling, camping, boondocking, and exploring. The Little Guy Max has passed through storage accessible from both sides. Each side has a lockable door and a magnetic holder to hold the doors open. The Little Guy Max has a great outdoor entertainment system. It's set up with two Furion speakers, a mount that will hold the television that you can take from one of the televisions inside. You just pop them off and set them up out here. You have two outlets AC outlets and two USB ports that you can plug in and then you also have HDMI and cable uh, portlets right here. This right here is just for your awning. It has extendable um, arms for that. This area right here will house your propane tank as well as your battery. One thing Russ was really happy about was this electric jack. He didn't want to have to worry about cranking it up and down every time we hitched up. Corners of the RV, there will be a stabilizing jack. Bear in mind, these are stabilizing, not leveling. Over on this side, you have refreshing city water hookups, as well as your cable TV. You've got your 30 amp plug-in right here. And you also have an outdoor shower. This unit also has fresh gray and black water holding tanks and a spare tire all mounted on the underside of the RV. Last but not least, a great little feature is a special little compartment for you to store your sewer hoses. This helps to isolate them and keep them away from all your other storage items that you may keep through in the pass-through. One of the things I really like are all the safety lighting options that they have. You can't see it now, but at night, this step is illuminated. This handle is illuminated and you also have LED strip lights both for the awning and dressed over the door. Right by the front door, you have your light control, another AC outlet, you have your radio DVD control, you also have a USB and HDMI plug-in, and you have your systems control monitor. To check your levels, you just tap the screen, and then you can also flip on the switches for your water heater, interior lights, porch lighting, and handle step, and your awning lights. Our little guy Max has a great sliding screen door that will tuck away when you don't want to use it. The little guy Max has a great kitchen with a lot of counter space for the size of the unit. Included as part of this sink is a cutting board that can be removed for access to the sink and a faucet with a removable nozzle. For the range you have a two propane burner system, glass top that can be used as additional counter space. This lifts up acts as a backsplash. The propane burner does include an electric start. Up above the sink you'll have plenty of storage, nice deep cabinets. To the right of the cabinets you have a microwave. And down below you have plenty of drawers for storage, deep cabinets, and in their silverware drawer, they also include the uh, custom molded uh, fittings for your silverware. The only thing that, it, that I would know is the very bottom drawer is a little bit more shallow than the other two, and that's just to make allowance 
for some of the mechanicals for the kitchen. With even more storage to the right of the kitchen, you have lots of deep cabinets that run floor to ceiling. Under the bed there's additional storage with a nice deep drawer. Across the aisle you have a full length cabinet which includes a rod so you can hang clothes as well as have shelves that you can adjust to fit whatever your needs are. To the right of the wardrobe you have open shelving and a Dometic three-way fridge with lots of room and another cabinet that's very deep as you can see it goes two storage bins down with still a little bit more room. Okay, this unit also has a full bathroom, a wet bath. Some people have made complaints about the glass shower door and privacy issues. One way we combated that was we just added a tension rod with a shower curtain. Still loves plenty of light. It has a shower head that has removable nozzles so you can adjust it to whatever height you may need. It includes a mirror along the wall and on the opposite wall over here a small shower caddy so you can store your soaps, sponges, whatever you need. Up above we have a fan. The toilet is porcelain. And because it is a wet bath you also have the toilet paper holder that is fully enclosed so it does not get your tissue paper wet. This unit is outfitted with a 13,500 BTU Dometic air conditioner, which is controlled by this panel right here, which also controls your furnace. This unit also has a 100 watt solar panel on the roof, and the solar charge controller is right here. One of the reasons we loved this unit was the size of the dinette area. It has two bench seating. We have a hidden TV, which I will show you in a second. Storage up above and two cubbies on either side. In addition, below each seat you also have additional storage. There's two ways you can access it. One, lift up the seat cushion and you can lift this up or you can access it through the door. The television comes up like this. This television is also removable and you can mount it on the outside of the unit. If you didn't want to use the remote and you just happen to be sitting here, there's also an additional button. Our little guy Max actually fits a full size queen bed. To prove that, we replaced the factory installed smaller mattress with an actual full-size pillow top queen mattress from our house. In addition to the television over by the dinette, there's also another television right along this wall with a sound bar, some storage shelves. There's this great big stargazing window. You also have additional storage over on this side, another window, and reading lights. All in all, I love my Max. Hey everyone, that concludes our tour of our trailer, The Little Guy Max. Um, if you have any questions, comments, uh, please feel free to leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. If you want more details, visit our blog at www.theroadsweroam.com or you can also get a hold of us via Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks for watching. Billy, Abby, Russ, and I all wish you have a wonderful day.